In Unity, a transform's rotation is stored as a quaternion. These work similarly to vectors, but have four components, x, y, z, and w. These components are interdependent and work together to define any rotations that an object might need. One of the most important things to remember about dealing with quaternions is that since the x, y, z, and w components work together, you should never adjust them individually. Thankfully, Unity has many built-in functions to make managing quaternions easy. The system for managing rotations that you are probably already familiar with is called Euler Angles. The rotation values shown in the inspector use this system as it is slightly easier to understand. Euler angle rotation is based on a rotation around each of the x, y, and z axes. You might be wondering why Unity uses quaternions if Euler angles are easier to understand, especially since Unity converts the quaternions to Euler angles for the inspector. Suffice to say that Euler angles are subject to something called gimbal lock, which can prevent incremental rotations from working correctly. Luckily, since Unity stores rotations as quaternions, which are not subject to gimbal lock, we do not experience this problem. Let's take a look at some of the functionality that is available through the quaternion class. We will start with the look rotation function. Here we have a scene set up with a character and an orb. The character has a script called look at script attached to it. The orb has a script called motion script attached to it. The motion script simply moves the object side to side based on the horizontal input axis. The lookout script has a public field for a target transform. And in the update function, we will be using look rotation to cause the object to rotate to face the target. The look rotation function takes in a vector 3. It returns a quaternion rotation aligned with the vector 3 passed in. By calculating the relative vector between the object and the target, we can make the object's z axis point towards the target. This works in a similar way to transform.lookat, but utilizing quaternions sets the rotation explicitly. It is also worth noting that we can pass in a second vector 3 to the function. This vector 3 tells the function which direction is considered up. Back in the Unity Editor, let's run our scene. We can see that no matter where we move the orb, the character turns to face it. The next function we want to look at is the slurp function. Slurp is short for spherical interpolation. It is very similar to the lerp function, which stands for linear interpolation. The big difference between the two is that lerp will interpolate evenly between two quaternions, while slurp will interpolate on a curve. The result is that lerp will provide an even change over time, while slurp will start and end slower and be faster in the middle. We have here a scene with another character and orb. The character has no scripts attached to it. The orb has a gravity script attached to it. This scene will utilize slurp and some forward movement to achieve a gravity orbit effect. In the gravity script, we have a setup similar to the look at script from before. Again, we have a public field for a target transform. We are also calculating the relative vector between the object and the target, though this time we are adding an offset to account for the orb's height. We are also calculating the look rotation like before, except we are not storing it in the rotation of the object's transform this time. Instead, we are storing it in a quaternion variable named rotation. We are then storing the local rotation of the object in a quaternion variable named current. After that, we are using the slurp function to slowly turn the object to face the target. The slurp function reads in the current rotation, the end result rotation, and the speed it should interpolate or turn. The fact that the rotation doesn't happen immediately, but over time, is the key to making this example work. After we turn the object slightly towards the target, we move it forward a little bit. Back in Unity, we can run our scene and see the result. The orb is always moving forward and turning to face the target, which in this case is the character. This gives us a nice, smooth orbit effect. The last thing we are going to look at is the identity property of the quaternion class. Setting a quaternion to quaternion.identity will effectively set its Euler rotation to 000, or no rotation. There are more functions in the quaternion class that you can find in the documentation linked below. The most important things to take away from this lesson are that quaternions are the best way of dealing with rotation, 
and that you should never alter the components independently. There will always be some functionality that you can use instead.